Hey guys, welcome back to Jibber Jabber Views. Thanks for joining me today and for continuing to support the channel as well as the developers that participate here. In today's show, I review three brand new watch faces from Poppy Watch and all three of these have something to offer. Whether you like clean and simple watch faces or ones with a lot of activity information, the faces today cover all those requirements. And don't forget to hit me up with a comment below for a chance to win a free coupon code for one of these faces, your choice. Okay, for now, let's go take a closer look at these brand new faces. Okay guys, let's start things off with a hybrid watch face that includes an animated and rotating ring in the center, digital time that can be set in either 12 or 24 hour format, a sweeping red seconds hand that circles the bezel, and large bold digits for the analog time. And you can also cycle through a number of different colored background themes by simply double tapping on the face. Now this one has a very clean appearance to it because whatever display information is shown is actually only in the center of the face and that includes your date, digital time, as well as a step counter. You also have access to your music player, settings, weather, and schedule apps, and those are all located in the 3, 6, 9, and 12 positions. Okay, switching things up, the next two faces are both digital varieties, although you'll see that the layout and design are quite different between the two. First, here's the PW38 model, and this one comes packed with a lot of activity information and customizations for those color themes. Now the watch face is actually broken into three sections, and by double tapping in either the top, middle, or bottom areas, you can independently change the colors for those areas, so you can really mix and match some vibrant color combinations. Now going back to that display information, you have the battery status, step percentage, and the day located at the bottom of the watch face, the step count, calories burnt, distance moved, and heart rate are all located in that center band, and the date and digital time are at the top. And like the previous one, you also have access to a number of useful app shortcuts. Okay, and the other digital face is the PW54A model, and this one features rotating colored dots around the bezel, large and easy to read digits for the digital time in the center, and access to your step count, calories burnt, distance traveled, heart rate, battery status, and step goal all in the bottom half of the watch face. The full date is shown at the top, and double tapping on the face enables you to cycle through a number of shaded and toned colored backgrounds. This one also features four app shortcuts, with three being shown on the right hand side and opens your music, settings, and weather, and the fourth shortcut is tied to the date, so when you tap on that, your schedule app opens up. Overall, all three of these faces offers a good mix of colors, features, and styles, and don't forget to check out his other faces on the mygearwatch.com website. And if you want more information on the watch faces I reviewed today, then simply do a search in the Galaxy App Store under the name of these faces. The full details are also included in the video description. And I'm also going to be giving away a free coupon code for one of these, so if you want a chance to win, then all you have to do is to like this video and to leave a comment. At the end of the day, I'm going to randomly pick one winner from those who have commented, and I'll leave a reply under their comment to let them know exactly how they can get the code. So good luck to everyone, and get commenting! Okay, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching, and I would really appreciate it if you could share this video and to subscribe to my channel. It really helps me keep the channel going so I can continue to offer you guys discounts, giveaways, and fresh content. And if you want to be notified when the newest video is just released, then just click on that bell icon next to the subscribe button. I'll see you in the next episode. Until then, take care.